Hi, it's a Friday afternoon, and it's stormy and cold outside. We even have winter warnings right now. But that's Montana. We could have winter warnings right up into June and July. In fact, uh, when I worked at Yellowstone Park back in 65, they celebrated Christmas on the uh, 25th of August because one year, years before, everybody was snowed in and couldn't get out of the park uh, for a week or more, or I think, I can't remember exactly how long, but uh, they ended up celebrating Christmas on the 25th of August and it's become a tradition in Yellowstone Park to do that. <laughs> so, it didn't stay cold here for a long time. I, the year that they videoed or uh, filmed the, the movie or the series uh, Return to Lonesome Dove here in our valley, it was so cold, we had to wear coats. You could see your breath all summer almost. It was a fun, fun year. Not sure if I like uh, this clay, by the way, this monster clay yet. I'll keep playing with it and see how it works out. All right, I'll be back when I get the uh, skeletal structure uh, put in, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Time to play with some clay. I'm getting the uh, bone structure onto the horse. It's not easy with this clay, this monster clay, because it doesn't want to really stick like my J-Mac does. And uh, it gets really hard fast, which makes it really hard to work with. So I'm not certain I'm going to finish this right now. I'm going to keep trying. But if it looks like it's going to be uh, more trouble than it's worth, I am not going to keep trying. Anyway, I'm just bu building the structure for the uh, under the muscles. You, you do have to have that. And... Uh, I show all this in that uh, two DVD set that I've got on creating a horse from scratch. And uh, so I'm just going to continue working here. All right. Okay, I'm just going to start building up the uh, thorax area. Of the horse. Well, I tell you, you got to be careful. You can't touch anything because it's uh, it'll bend <laughs> quickly. Of course, it does that with the regular clay too. So it's no new thing. You just got to be real careful how you handle your uh, clay. I kind of like this clay. I'm finding I'm going to have to use my metal tools much more than I do my uh, wire tools. That's okay. Different uh, methods for different material. It's, it's a learning curve for me. A lot of you out there who, who've been working with uh, monster clay for a long period of time 
probably never used anything else, but it's uh, probably a lot easier for you because you've worked out the kinks. I'm working out the kinks. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with a bit of a stress headache right now. It's not because of this, it's because of uh, my daughter, of course. And what she's going through. You want to protect your kids and you can't do it all the time. Especially when they start getting older and out of your control. If you find it in your heart to uh, help my daughter, there's a uh, link to a GoFundMe page in the video description below this video. I, uh, I like the way this uh, wire tool works on this. And I like the way this is coming out. What I may do is do all the skeletal structures first on all three horses and maybe even make a fourth horse. I don't know. Might even make a fifth horse. I don't know. I did a sketch of a horse piece about a year ago. In fact, a little over a year ago when I was still living in my other house. Uh, where I had a bunch of horses running or stampeding. And uh, I'll put up a picture of that here, or a set of pictures. And uh, I may still visit that idea with this uh, thing here, just a little bit bigger than what I was doing those horses. I, those horses were about the size of the uh, head and neck of this horse. So it's a quite a big, big difference in size of horses. Uh, Got to cut back on the uh, body just a little bit there. All I'm doing is just building a base up for the uh, the muscles, which will come. I'll do the skull and all that next week. I've got a an actual horse's skull here in the studio, and I'm going to pull that out of the. Uh, box that it's in and uh, put it to use and I'm going to come back and take a look at this uh, rib cage I'm not quite happy with it yet it has to come out just a little bit more I think All right, till next Tuesday, I'll see you. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.